Hey, Ted, scene one, take three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mickey, 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 Mickey. You guys think we'll be doing the same thing in five years? Filming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't take longer than ten minutes. My car's double parked. <laughs> Two Garys booked most of the punk bands in Toronto. A lot of bands from England and a lot of local acts. Um, they booked them into the Horseshoe for nine months, and during that time, that was probably the best club Toronto had for punk rock. Um, the owners kicked them out after the nine months, and to sort of show what the best of the Toronto punk rock was, they had the last pogo. It was great. It was representative of the best bands in Toronto. if you book YZ and Q, you know, even though they're not uh, viable financially or artistically yeah. for that matter, you know. We don't go after, uh, we don't read Billboard and book after top ten stuff. It's strictly what we want to, you know, we want to hear. There's a whole new young generation out there, whether they're 15 or whether they're 45, who deserves to be heard and deserve uh, recognition. And uh, if you keep doing it long enough, people, I mean, if you, if you do what you believe in long enough, it's just a matter of time before everybody comes back and finally realizes that you were right all along. Four years ago, we, were bring, we brought the Ramones in, you know, and like the director of the movie and myself and a few other people were the only people that, that thought they were any good, you know. Record companies were laughing at them. Peter Gabriel was walking into the theater and walking out ten minutes later saying they were nothing, you know. Uh, now we can't even get near them, you know, and all the people that's put them down before are the ones that control them now, you know, and they don't really care, it's all money and meat. Thank you. 
Fat. Uh, last program, yeah. Um, it was an event. There's not too much you can say about it. It was an event. It was great to play there. Uh, there was a, a good cross-section of the uh, audience in the future. And uh, uh, I don't know. It wasn't the last the last of anything, actually. It was the beginning of a lot of things, you know, the end of a, of, of a very small part, very small era. And uh, it was quite exciting. chapter in Toronto Punk as one of the clubs, and in reality it was uh, the closing chapter, because after that there was never anything the same, you know, punk sort of dwindled off. <laughs>
was one big farce. That's because we never played. They can't, they can't take a real punk band here. They don't have no pretense or nothing. That's one big phony. That's all I think of the last pogo. What do you think of the mods? Stop out tonight. Fucking shit. back people and they come through that door they're not when they get in and see us you know we're a damn good group and they know it, you know we make them change you're bloody right because we're a good hot group you know oh because we're an alternative to their like dreams almost like, like we are uh, their dreams it's like a hit of junk that's what it is the ball phones to people it's like a hit of junk <laughs> Yeah. 
punk rock punk music rock. Yeah, yeah, attracts yeah, people yeah. that want to have a good time. Just have fun, <laughs> dance, and... There's a really dance thin and... line between yeah. punk rock, you know, rock and roll, new wave. It's really not even worth the time to define them all. You just listen to it. If you like it, you like it.